Okay, we're good to see you. You too. Um, look, first off, I suppose, just how does it feel? Because you've got a couple of massive games coming up, right? Yeah, it's been a pretty busy schedule, I'd say, before this camp. And then, obviously, these two games are massive for us at England. And then, yeah, when I get back to club, it's fair to say I've got some more big games coming up after that. I mean, we'll get to those big yeah. games for club in a bit. But I suppose with England, we were chatting during the last camp about the number of games and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I was looking through sort of, you know, the miles and the number of games played. And it's Georgia and then it's yourself in terms of games and miles played out of everybody over the last two years who've played the most. Do you feel like you've played a lot of football? Yeah, I think especially when you, you're coming towards the end of the season, I think, um, I think obviously you want to be in those games, you want to be played in the big games, but I think, yeah, when the season's done, especially because mine and Lucy's finishes in the, the middle of June, I think, yeah, it's going to be a long season for us. And um, I think obviously we're really disappointed that we didn't qualify for the Olympics. But I think if you look at how many games we've all played and how many tournaments we've been to, I think um, in the end, it's probably a good thing that we've got some time to take a bit of rest and yeah, can kick on then and hopefully qualify for the Euros. A bit of rest. It's not yeah. a massive rest. No, it's not it? a lot because obviously there's a, a camp in July as well, which isn't ideal timing. But yeah, I think... For us, it's just about, you know, those games are really important, playing well, winning and yeah, qualifying for the Euros, like I just said. Has there been any kind of update on that? I know you were sort of waiting to mm -hmm. hear back from talks that were taking place. Um, no, I've not heard anything. I think, um, yeah, it can't be helped. I think obviously with England and with clubs, it's not their fault. I think it's the people higher up at FIFA and UEFA who need to have a look at it. I think, yeah, I think if they keep adding more games, it's going to become almost impossible, I think, for players to keep up with the schedule. Talk to me about where this England team is at the moment, because the last camp couldn't have really gone much better, could it? But I suppose, you know, you've got Grace Clinton coming in now, you've obviously got, you've got Ella, you've got Fran back, you've got Jess playing really well. It feels like all of a sudden, there's a lot of people competing for what, three places in that midfield. Yeah, it's, it's really competitive. And I think, as you said, everyone's in, in good form as well. And I think that's kind of what you want. You want training to be like that. You want, you know, not knowing who's going to be in, in the starting 11, who's on the team sheet. And I think that's kind of what's special about this team is that we have so many talented players. But as you said, I think, Last camp was really positive for us. We scored a lot of goals, created a lot of chances, and I think we're hoping to bring that into these two games. You know, obviously it's two really, really good opposition, so it's going to be tough. But I think for us, we want to play that free-flowing football that's exciting, and obviously we want the fans to come and watch us and enjoy it as well. You talk about the competition mm -hmm. in the squad. One person's back. One person you know very well yeah. in Leah. How does it feel to have her back? Yeah, no, I'm really happy. I think obviously she's a massive presence for us on and off the pitch. I think um, you can you can feel that already with her just being here. I think. She brings just a, a calmness, composure, and um, yeah, for me, I think having my best friend back also is a, is a massive boost. You missed her? Yeah, of course, <laughs> a lot. More than I tell her, to be fair. Oh, obviously, yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't watch this. Got to keep her feet on the floor, yeah, but more yeah, than I tell her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but I mean, so having her back, what does it mean, obviously, personally, means something. what does it mean for the rest of the team in terms of what she brings, I suppose, in terms of like, the intangibles, the leadership kind of thing? Yeah, she's, she's massive for us, I think. Obviously, you know, we're going back to the Euros, but I think she played such a key part in, in keeping us together in the tough moments I think um, you know when when your backs are against the wall in those sort of games and yeah I think she's kind of just a very composed figure I think she's confident quietly confident I think um, she plays the game for everybody else I don't think she has to be the superstar on the pitch and I think that's kind of what we all look to her for and yeah she's an unbelievable player on person but I think for us she brings a calmness and a yeah she's not sensible but she's so logical in the way she thinks and she always puts the team before herself and I think that's exactly what you need in, in someone like that. Do you think a lot of people say that about you? Uh, I'm not as sensible as Leah. I'm not as mature as Leah, it's fair to say. So, yeah, she's definitely got that one over me. But you bring, a, you know, the way you play, what you bring to the team in terms of, you know, like you said, that kind of calmness on the ball, you know, that sort of natural ball playing ability that everyone feels, you know, a lot more reassured when you're... That's you as well, right? Yeah, I don't know. I think, obviously, don't think about yourself like that. I think me and Leah do enjoy playing together because we do have similar qualities. But, yeah, for me, I think... Obviously, the players who've played there when she's been absent have also been fantastic, but she's so composed. And I think even just coming back from such a big injury, you can see the impact she's had on her club team as well and kind of the reassurance she brings to them and the way she plays out from the back. I think, yeah, she's already had a massive impact after being out for such a long time. You captain England in the last game. Mm -hmm. You chatted after the game. You said you were going to put the, you put the shirt up. You were going to... No, not yet. I'm going to give it to my mum when I get home and she can frame it and she can keep it because, yeah, it's a really proud moment for her and my dad as well. Must be nice for you as well, though. Yeah, really proud for me, a uh, really proud moment for me. I think, obviously, I prefer being in the background a little bit more and that kind of doesn't happen with the, the role of being captain. But, um, yeah, I think, obviously, to, to lead your country out is a massive honour and, uh, yeah, it was a really special moment for me and my family. You mentioned it at the beginning. You've got a very, very busy end of the season. Yeah. 
we can't not talk about this game against Chelsea, can we? Yeah. This is huge, right? Yeah, it's a massive game. And I think with Barcelona have played Chelsea and now it's going to be three Champions League. So um, not a bit of a rivalry, but I think there's obviously an interesting game there and they've got some unbelievable players. So yeah, I'm hoping it's going to be a really good game and it'll be nice to be back in England and playing. Yeah, you've done very well, very well against them over the last couple of seasons. Yeah. So therefore, you know that they are, this, this, is, this has got to be personal for them, hasn't it? Yeah, a little bit, but I think it changes each season and obviously they have different players. They, they play maybe slightly different each season. And um, yeah, for us, I think we won't be thinking about them results so much. I think, yeah, we know how capable they are of winning. So for us, it's just going to be focusing on that and, and what we can do well. This is what you moved to, to Barca for, isn't mm -hmm. it? These kind of huge games? Yeah, definitely. I think if you look at Barcelona's track record in the Champions League and they've been in so many finals now, I think as a player, that's what you want to be doing. And that matched my ambition of, of moving there. So, yeah, I've been really lucky to get to, to these points. I think it's no accident that Barcelona are always there. All the girls work so hard, the coaches, and as a unit as well. So, yeah, I'm really privileged to be a part of the team. Since we last spoke, Steph uh, Horton announced mm -hmm. her retirement. I just want to know what your thoughts are, because obviously I know you're close and she's been there for the majority of your career, I suppose. Yeah, Hopefully. definitely. Yeah, I think from the start, she was there for me. I think my first training session at City. Um, yeah, I think especially in my first few years, she was a, a real guide for me. I think obviously playing behind me and always talking to me during the games and kind of what I can do better and helping me and just having her in and around the training ground. I think if you ask any, any of the girls here, she's the most professional player that any of us have ever played with. I think she's so diligent in everything she does. She's the first at training, the last one to leave. And um, yeah, she sets a, an unbelievable example in that aspect. But I think for me, you know, off the pitch, she's... She's really caring and when I've had the tough moments at club, she's always put my, her arm around me and, and looked after me. And yeah, I think she's going to be a massive miss for the women's game. And I think, you know, for, for a lot of the time, she was the, the face of it and kind of really pushed it to where it is now. So I think for that, we're all so grateful. And yeah, I think it's obviously a really sad moment, but I'm sure she's going to have a really great career post-football and I'm excited to see what's next for her. Finally, look here, obviously we've mentioned it, this end of the season is ridiculously, like just fascinating, I suppose. But for you personally, you know, potential Spanish title, Champions League campaign, potential Euro qualifi qualification. That's, is that, you know, that is going to be what, a well-earned rest at the back of this in terms of it? Yeah, hopefully that's the plan. I think, <laughs> um, yeah, I think when you put it like that, I think I tend to just take it game by game. I don't want to think about it too much, but um, yeah, that's, that's the aim. That's what you, we want to be doing. And then hopefully after the camp in July, you can have a little bit of downtime and, and enjoy your holidays. But I think, yeah, for me in between that, it's full focus trying to remain sharp, trying to remain fit and yeah, trying to be in a good place for all those games to be available for selection and, and compete. And yeah, like I said, those are the, the games you want to be playing in and yeah, I'm really excited for it. Well, let's hope you can do it with some lots more shiny medals in your bag. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs>